Hey guys, it's Davin here at Brewbits.com. Now, a little while back, Hamilton Bard stopped uh, refilling these and it went over to a company called um, Brewgas and they've been coming really, really, really difficult to get hold of. There's only a few shops in the whole of the country that sell them. Um, we were having difficulties in actually getting hold of them ourselves, so unfortunately we've stopped selling them as well. Um, and those shops that do sell them, unless you live near a homebrew shop and you can just pop in and hand over an empty one and then give you a refill, it's becoming really, really difficult because you've then got to send an empty one of these back to them. The Royal Mail don't accept these. You've got to send them via courier, otherwise they get destroyed. Uh, so there's a big cost of that. And then of course, there's the cost of the shop getting them back to you by courier as well. So um, it's getting more and more difficult to get these refilled. So what do we do? Well, we've got a couple of options. So we've all been down or probably heard of these little small carbon dioxide uh, cartridges. Uh, these are little eight grams uh, cartridges. You see they've got no thread on there, they're nice and smooth. Um, if you're gonna use those, those won't work in the Hamilton Bard um, valves because the Hamilton Bard, Bard valve doesn't have a little pin in the middle. Come in, in James and get see if you can get a hold of that pin in the middle. There you go, you can just about to see it in there. Uh, and that little pin pierces the uh, cartridge as it goes into, you need one of these little babies. Oh, got a bit of extra burr in there, let's get rid of that. So you need to pop your CO2 cartridge in there and then you'd screw it down onto there and it pierces the um, cartridge and all the gas flows in in one big go. Great, fantastic. You can simply take that valve there, you can take this valve here, Undo your nut, pop the old one out, undo the nut on there and pop the new one in. It's as simple as that. Uh, disadvantage is that though of these little babies is that um, as soon as you've injected the full eight grams, what you tend to find if you're only down say halfway on the barrel, the rest will come back out of the uh, pressure relief valve. Um, and that's, that's because it's trying to inject the whole eight grams in at the same time. And usually not enough space in there to take that whole eight grams. So, but that's one option for you. Okay, another option is very, very similar. And this is where we take our cap and we take one of these little babies. And this is a um, ball lock valve. Um, what we simply would need to do is we'd need to make a new hole in our lid um, and pop that in and tighten it up from the bottom. Then, you need this little baby. And this little baby fits on top of your ball lock valve, like so. And that allows you to put carbon dioxide in. So how are you gonna put the carbon dioxide in? Well, we've got two options for you. We have got this little option, which is a little bit similar to what you'd have been doing with the Hamilton Bard cylinder. So this one here, you unscrew this, you take a uh, CO2 cartridge. Note these have got threads on the end. This has got a thread on the end. You simply screw that in and then that will pierce it. You tighten that up and then what you do, just click it that second, that screws onto there. Like so. Okay, so then that will go onto there. And then when you want to inject some CO2, you just pull the trigger and the CO2 will inject straight into your barrel. Okay, so that's option one. Option two is instead of this little gray contraption here, let's get that off. It does come off, there we go. You use this. And I've already got a carbon dioxide um, cartridge in here. This is a little mini regulator. And you notice here I've got a, PSA, a PSI uh, gauge because if I screw that onto here, do, 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 make a nice seal, what I can do is I can now turn up the PSI and then if I have that sat on top of my valve permanently like that, on top of my barrel, it will keep exactly the same PSI. So as soon as you pour off a pint, whilst you're pouring off a pint, it will trickle let through, uh, or let through in a trickle, the amount of carbon dioxide it needs 
to keep that relevant pressure inside that barrel. It's as simple as that. Okay, so those are a couple of options. Um, I will now, because I need to retrofit this cap with this so that I can use it. So I'm going to basically take out, this is a, a quite an old cap, which has got um, a pressure relief valve in it. And a, I don't know why they put a second pressure relief valve in it, because they never needed to. Um, so that one's coming off. I've already said it leaves a hole. So I'm going to drill out this hole with a spade um, drill bit. And this is a half a inch, half a inch, half an inch hole. So let me go drill my half an inch hole and then I'm going to put my post in and we'll go from there. As you can see, I've drilled out my hole. My post fits in there quite nicely. The, um, they'll notice there's a little rubber washer there. That stays on the outside and the nut goes on the inside. And because it's only 12 PSI, it doesn't need to be any more than finger tight, really. I've got quite strong fingers, but what you don't want to do is you don't want to get this little rubber washer um, squeezing out. So have a good look around and make sure the rubber washer is not squeezing out. Okay, that is the cap done. It is as easy as that. So you might be asking, why don't I just replace the valve with the uh, new post? Well, two reasons. The valve has a hole that's too big for the post to fit in. So that's reason number one. And reason number two is that you really should have a pressure relief valve. And this valve already got your pressure relief valve in it. So if there's too much carbon dioxide in the barrel, it will come out through underneath this rubber band. So that's your two reasons why you're not going to get rid of this post, uh, the, the old um, Hamilton Bard valve. Cap now goes on because, of course, I would have filled this with beer. As always, nice and tight. There we go. And as I said, then, if you're using um, the mini regulator, you just literally pop it on top. And then turn it till it fits. Okay, uh, I know I didn't have very much gas left in this CO2 cartridge, but you kind of get the idea. Now, if you pull this off, it doesn't matter because that's sealed. That keeps the pressure in the barrel so you can then go off and you can use this on multiple barrels. Um, and that's really, really good because then you can change your cartridge out quite easily. Recycle that as you need to. Okay, so. What I was saying then about the other one that we have, which is this one. Again, really, really, really easy and simple to use. Pop that in there. Never do it towards your face either. Never screw it in like that. Make sure it's away from you. Okay, okay. That just makes it look a nice prettier. So as you saw then, all you need to do is just pull the trigger ever so lightly and you get your jet of carbon dioxide flying out. Again, please don't do it at anyone's faces. It really comes out at a hell of a rate of knots. And the good thing about this, just like the Hamilton bar cinders previously, you can put in as much or as little CO2 as you want by just holding down the trigger for as long as you need to. Um, this little red bit here, very good if you've got little kiddies around. It's quite firm and it now locks that trigger in place so you can easily fire it off. So there we go. That's a, a couple of options for you to um, retrofit um, your king keg cap so that if you no longer can get hold of Hamilton Barton and others, you've got a couple of options. So option one, is to replace your valve with a pin valve and use the eight gram CO2 cartridges. Brilliant, downside to that, well the pro of that, it's probably the cheapest way of doing it. The downside to it is that although it's the cheapest way to do it right now, you're gonna go through quite a lot of these little cartridges because as I said, as soon as you pierce that, that's the whole lot gone in. Um, and if it's quite a lot of beer in the, in the keg, you will lose quite a lot of gas straight back out of the pressure release valve. Okay, but it's a really great option, really cheap. Second best option is this little beauty. Um, so you've got your injector, 
you've got your ball cock and you've got your uh, ball cock post. Um, a little bit more expensive to, to fit all together, um, but it does mean just like the um, Hamilton Bard cylinder, you can inject just a little amount, you can inject a huge amount, as much as you want to. So that's kind of option two. Option three is this little beauty, which is your mini regulator, and you can set the pressure um, on it, um, and so that every time you pour off a pint, it just tops up the pressure automatically for you. And again, you can move this from keg to keg to keg um, as you want to, um, and all you need to do then on each keg is just get one of these little um, ball cock um, posts. Uh, ball lock, ball cock, ball cock's in the toilet, the cistern, uh, ball lock valve. So there you go, those are your three options. The mini regulator um, does come with uh, dee -dee 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 -dee, does come with that as well, so you can fit it all together nice and easily. Um, and that one then just comes on its own, so you need to buy the little grey bit separately. So there you go. If you've got any questions, uh, if you need any help, then down in the comments below, ask away. More than happy to help. Um, or you can give us a call or WhatsApp us, wh however you want to get in contact. But there you go. That's how easy it is to retrofit a ball lock system onto a king keg. Um, we've also got uh, these caps ready for you uh, with a pressure relief valve if you want to buy any more. And we've also do this system for the two inch caps um, for the other pressure barrels as well. So there you go. Uh, as I said, any questions, any comments, let me know in the uh, comments section below and uh, I'll try and help. But for now, cheers, happy brewing.